Good morning, this is Pixie. Uh, it's all misty. Um, super foggy. I think my wits about them. I'll do this video. Um, so where am I now? Let's see. I'm... I guess it's three and a half days of fasting. This is the third. I'm not... I'm thinking I might break it might break it with um, a nice um, large breakfast. Not because my not because I'm really hungry. It just feels like maybe it should. Blimey, it's really foggy today. And um, so yeah, I mean the benefits of it is I feel a lot better. I may actually set it up as a kind of lifestyle. So what I'll be doing is there's usually three days in the week where you know I'm not doing particularly a lot of heavy stuff, not mentally taxing or anything. I mean I could chill out and just watch them in box set things and stuff like that. Whoa. <laughs> no visibility. <laughs> this is, this is the white as it is behind me, this is in front of me as well. And um, so yeah, so if I can use this time, I can use this time to get, get myself fitter, healthier, mentally stronger, spiritually stronger. Um, I forget, oh yeah, I'll just probably leave my wipers on to be honest. Because it starts, as you go for the mist, it's making the screen a mist on my blooming uh, window. And um, so basically plan your fasting, that's, that's the key. I mean, it could be that when you take a holiday or something from work, and you're not really going to be doing a lot, you might think, well, I could do a little bit of fasting. And you might not see massive results. I mean, I do feel a bit thinner, but I'm not really um, trying to lose loads of weight. I guess that really what you want is a, it's kind of like um, you're working towards a noticeable effect. People will say, yeah, you look, you know, if you've been going down the gym or something, but you're not particularly trying to make them do that and also your skin would look better as well clear up toxins have come out of it and stuff it might seem a bit more bright eyed but you don't want to I don't know see the thing is with it if I wasn't working at all then I could probably see how far I can go but because I am working I don't know how far I can go so it could be quite drastic and I'm also driving around which um it's had, had no impact on my mental focus though. Um, I mean, some some might, you might not slip into things, or you might have told someone, and you think, well, why did I tell them that? So there's a little bit of second guessing goes on. Um, but outside of that, it seems seems to be fine, really. It's not, um, I haven't been feeling hungry. And um, I also went to the toilet this morning, so I'm thinking, um, you know, basically, when you eat things, it does take, can take a while to come out again. Or stuff might be still in there, caught up somewhere. You know, if your guts are kind of... Um, well, they're no different than, like, the U-bends and, like, plumbing. And you might have stuff caught up in places in your stomach, which you might not be aware of. Um, it's just, like, compacted in there. So it's probably good to get a good cleanse on for them benefits. So that's, um, that's quite important. Something else strange happened yesterday, a couple of things actually. I, um, yeah, I dreamt about someone from the YouTube channel, uh, Tom, <laughs> turned up my dreams. Um, I just picked you up as a hitchhiker <laughs> in my dream and dropped you off somewhere, I don't know, I guess it was very interesting. And, um, what else is going on? Um, yeah, I had this thing where I was in someone's, basically I had a client, he, was, he, he looks like he's on, um, but he's not very really well, let's put it that way. And um, so I assisted him, you know, to sort himself out. But then in the corner of my eye, I was doing a book, log book, and in the corner of my eye I saw this um, shadowy being turned up, just a flash there. It was virtually this, exactly the same size as me, but it was definitely there. So I think really, if you sometimes touched, if you touched by the paranormal, let's put it that way, or if you've had an experience where you've come across an entity, 
you either are attached to that entity for most of your life, maybe they exchange your energy or whatever they've done with you, or you're just very perceptive to them, like the sixth sense, and you've got a marker on you, so when things happen, they seem to just keep turning up. It could be because when I sometimes do different things, you know, it could be the fast and it's triggered them to keep an eye on me. Maybe they want to know what's going on. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's just one of the things, really. And um, so, yeah, I think with that paranormal element to things, there will always be in your life if you've been kind of touched by that. And you just need to know to manage it, really. It's not really a bad thing. Close your mind off to things. It's, that's not a problem. But you might, might, because it's something new and you've got it, you might as well just explore it, really. And the other thing I was just thinking about, to no contact, if you can do no contact for a, a, a period of time, it gives you an idea of your willpower as well. And, um, did I say fast or no contact? I can't remember. Um, yeah, you can do fasting for a <laughs> I don't know, it's like, uh, did you say something different? Um, yeah, so if you can fast for a long time, then that's good. It also means you can do other things like, you know, like not communicate with people. That's it's still quite similar in a kind of an emotional fasting there. To withdraw from something, or put yourself away, or whatever you do if you're whatever type of recovery you're into. You know, it could be that you've done lots of job searches and you've been knocked back a bit and you feel a bit pissed, a bit pissed off. So you might just want to take a little time out if you can. You obviously can't if you need to work. And then, um, and then come back with um, a more energy. So that's that's important. And um, that bit of soul search as well. You've got to be in the right mindset, like a lot of things. If you're not, it's um, you just need to take that freeze or take a step back. Another thing I found good is writing letters. You write a letter, then you read your own letter, and you think it doesn't really it doesn't really sit so well. Or you think. Mm, I, I want to move away from things like emails and um, texts. I mean, I just have to use them for particular reasons, not for anything. So um, there's just a lot of stuff out there that just, I don't know. It's, I think they become quite toxic because you get addicted to um, devices um, and you might just sort of see it as the only way to communicate or you might communicate in a way you think, well, it doesn't really matter. And then it might matter and then it might come back on you, so it's um, a difficult one. It's a bit like um, I was using, um, using uh, WhatsApp and um, the problem I've got with that is that because I've used it via my, um, I've used it via my work phone and I've got a, another employee who's got my phone number and they use WhatsApp as well, which is really weird. I've got a message message from them from it, I think, and I don't really feel comfortable. I know, I know they can, you can add you as a contact and so on, it just feels a little uncomfortable that they're using that. You know, it's like if they started using Facebook Messenger and start sending you things in relation to work and whatever else. And so that's kind of the intrusion of privacy, because I don't see WhatsApp as a work application. So I think, well, why are you sending me messages here? Um, well, between the group anyway, it just might open me up. Open me up to the people there. And also they're sharing other information. They're sharing their own private, if they're using private mobiles, it comes up their number on it. And, um, you know, if I was like some creepy guy, I could write them all down. and Or I could sell the numbers or do something. Really, you know, I could actually, you could do, you could turn around and say, look, I've got these people that are interested in doing care work. Do you want to contact me? And if they do take a job, can you just give me a little, you know, payment for it? And, um, that wouldn't be good, would it? Anyway, this is a big sign-off. Ah, uh, that's pretty soon.